stretcher frames 2019 I do this once or twice a year and I'm gonna do a quick overview of the current production process making these frames I'm doing 200 frames and this is the plywood delivery where the process starts this is Home Depot and they make quick work of dropping this right to my front door I have a couple stacks of pallets to elevate the load a little bit which makes bringing it inside the shop a little bit easier. I get the poplar plywood from out of hide free. The price of that product went up quite a bit this year. And we got lots of snow in February. It's been a long winter here in Vermont. Lots of ice and cold weather. So good time to start a big load of stretchers and Joe helps out quite a bit bringing in the heavy sheet goods and we made quick work of cutting up the sheets into manageable sizes and now I'm ready to set up my power feeder to cut up everything into thin strips and that takes about six hours and I show my power feeder in other videos here it is it's a 1970s model that fits right on the fence and it works great. So here is the start of the process. These are little scrap plywood spacers that I put in between the frames so that they don't deform under the wrapping load. And I do bundles of five frames, which is still pretty heavy. These are the long edges that are pre-assembled with the molding strip and so I'm just going to do a quick walk through here to show how everything is laid out the chop saw station I got a new staple gun which I'm going to do a tool review that's a porter cable narrow crown stapler and I have a couple different sizes of molding strip to make the framework and those are my toggle clamps on my workbench and all the tools I use within easy reach and I have both sides of the workbench set up so I have two glue bottles and two staple guns and two sets of molding strips on each side that's my glue station I usually have that installed above my workbench but I found it to be just as easy off to the side and that's one cart of parts the short ones here's my other staple gun which I've used before on the uh, metal stool and my magnetic sanding block which is a great invention so that never falls off the workbench and that's pretty much it so I got 200 frames to make. Each frame takes about three and a half minutes. So a bundle of five takes between 16 and 18 minutes to do. And I'm going to speed up the process here so that you can see just the overview. <laughs> 